Hi there. Name's Chad Buckingwood. How you doing? So we're going to have a little mic battle today. What's the best microphone for YouTubers and podcasters? We're going to have a little battle. We're going to have a little battle. We got the Rode Procaster mic versus the Sennheiser E935. You be the judge. If you're interested in either of these microphones, consider shopping in my affiliate links down below. It helps support the channel if you give a shit. If not, please send me puddle water because that's what I'll be drinking for the next three weeks. Asshole. So let's just talk a little bit about microphones for a second. For the longest time, I was using a lav mic and I thought it sounded great. I had no idea I could improve upon a lav mic. You'd think... That that's like the ultimate for the voice because it's close to the mouth. Actually, it's not that close. These damn nipple-bearing shirts. How you doing? Here's the problem with the lav mic. I'm using the lav mic right now. This is actually a good one. Sennheiser ME2. But you can probably hear the echo. The walls. I'm not in a treated room. Unless you have like the foam padding on the walls everywhere or carpets on your ceiling, you're not gonna get very good sound out of a laugh mic, it'll be doable. These just, I didn't realize how good they were at rejecting sound and echoes in the room. So this is what you wanna use if you have a noisy room or if you have a non-soundproofed room. No acoustic padding, you got like a computer fan going on in the background, you got dogs licking you in the back, I hate that. All these licking sounds. So these are both dynamic microphones, and all you really need to know is that they reject the sound from the side. Let's do a little test of that. I'm talking to the side of it now. I'm right in front of it. I'm talking to the side of the road. No, I'm not. I was talking in front. I'm retarded. <laughs> Here's speaking to it at the side. Here's speaking to that at the side. So now I'm like four feet away from the Sennheiser. And this is four feet away from the road. And this is four feet away from the lav mic. Just a little different. It's a little different. This is Brett's mic. He thinks he's so cool because his is bigger than mine. It's not, it's not the size that matters. It's, it's how you angle it towards your mouth. Don't, don't take that out of context. So in my opinion, if you can handle the awkwardness of this situation, the huge microphone in your shot, you're going to get the best sound out of something like this. I used to have the Blue Yeti, and that's a condenser mic, and it picks up everything in the background. Stupid Yeti. You pick up everything. You're so hungry, you Yeti. Picking up berries everywhere you go. That's stupid, you hungry Yeti. So we've been using these mics now for a little bit. The Rode Procaster is about 7,600 baht. And the Sennheiser over here is about 5,600 baht. So this is definitely more expensive and bigger. It seems like the better mic. This is the better mic. But from what I researched, I compared these mics before I bought them. I went with this one because I thought it was more accurate. Listen to my voice right now. The Rode Procaster it's boosted up in the bass frequencies, but they're not very accurate in the mid-range, broadcast range. Whereas this one, do you hear the clarity? Do you hear that clarity? It's ridiculous, the clarity. That's why I got this, but I will say this. The cl I didn't do that. The clarity brings out the bad parts of my voice. The irritating, oh, oh no, oh, help me, that part, instead of the low basic goodness of the Rode microphone. So that's one strike. Technically, this is the better mic. It's more accurate. That's what you want. That's what a singer wants. That's what a rapper wants. But this one is actually more pleasing to the ear, in my opinion. 
Maybe your opinion is different. Post it down below. Which mic do you prefer? Now up to this point, all I've done with the audio is normalized it and reduce noise. That's what I do with all my audio anyway, so I'm not going to just give you the raw file. Who gives a shit about the raw file? Nobody uses a raw file. Cook it. Cook your file. So now I'm going to boost the bass of this one and see if we can get it to match the bass of the road. So here's the Rode microphone, normal, no EQ whatsoever. This is just straight out of the box microphone sounds of my mouth. How you doing right now? And now the Sennheiser is boosted in the frequencies that I desire. I desire these frequencies a little bit bump in the low range, a little bit lowered in the mid range. And that's just what I've found to sound the best, but what if we do that to the road as well? Uh-oh. Will the road catch up? How you doing? Oh, oh my. Oh my. That is just... It's like Barry White made friends with a, a white woman and I am the product of that friendship. It's just a miracle. So, so far, quality-wise of the voice, which are you preferring? Are you preferring the Sennheiser? We're all boosted now in the Sennheiser. And the road. To be fair, we're boosting the road as well. So, what's your preferred sound? And, I will say this. The road has one huge advantage, and it's the built-in pop filter. Let's test that right now. The Sennheiser is actually really sensitive to those plosives. When, like when you're saying Peter Piper packed a pickle of pansy partitions in the pantry cabinet in the road. When Peter Piper packed his pack of pickles. This is stupid. On Tuesday, Tony tickled my tongue. It seems like the road handles it much better. So the foam helps a little bit. But what if Peter Piper packed a pack of pandas in a pantry box with this filter on? Is that okay? Peter Piper's a stupid bitch. That's what Peter Piper is. Oh no, my battery's dying. I've actually been going to the extreme of using this Bigfoot armpit hair patch. It Peter Piper couldn't even handle the panda... I'm lost. I'm tickled. This tickles my nose. I forgot to do a singing test. Moon River Moon River Moon River Was he saying Moon River? That's not even a song but I made it a song And I feel so strong Not physically But inner emotional strength wise Not a masculine way to be Whoa <laughs> What? Moon River Moon River Hopefully the autocorrect fixed that But if it didn't, that's okay It's okay to be yourself Just don't say something To piss off YouTube so they take your ad money away We're done with that? Last test we'll do is just a little noise floor test. This is the silence of the Sennheiser. Now the silence of the road. Now the silence of the lav mic. I messed that up. So there we have it. Post your thoughts down below. Do you prefer the accuracy of the Sennheiser? Sentient Heiser. 
You're so sentient, Heiser. I love you. It's smaller, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's lighter. It's more aerodynamic. Or is the road? Big Bubba over here. Is that the one you prefer? He's big. He's big and black. It's intimidating. How, what do you, how do you even deal with that? There's a lot going on down there. So, let me know which one you prefer. Thank you for watching today's episode. It's just a microphone test, but thumb up the video still. If you liked it, thumbs down. If you record audio through a pigeon, you, you speak to the pigeon and he relays your message to the camera. Doesn't sound like that would work. It's an interesting concept, but doesn't really sound like that would work very well. So you should probably research that more. So I think we're done here. If, if you want to support the channel, you can get yourself an I'm a donkey bitch shirt. If you, you're curious what a donkey bitch is, it's links up, up below. And, and we'll see you in the next video then. As long as you subscribe. <laughs> okay. Mel.